Hi everyone, welcome to the channel. My name is Diego Fabro, and today I'm gonna be using again the Instax Wide 300. I've been using this camera for a few months now and I really enjoy the results, especially for color film. The hues, the saturations, the contrast is just beautiful. I love the deep blacks. It really reminds me of my old photographs on street photography. So I really enjoy this film. It's really nostalgic for me. So today I'm gonna be using the black and white film which was suggested in the comments a lot. So all the reviews I've seen about this film is really positive. So I have high hopes this is going to be really, really cool. Also, I bought some Instax wide black frame. So this is the color film just in a black frame. And I think this is going to be much nicer than the white frame. So I have high hopes for this as well. So I'm gonna be bringing all these films to the best spot I can think about, which is the seaside. I shot a few seascapes and I can say the film has beautiful tones and it's also very sharp for instant film. So I have to establish that I'm a color photographer and I haven't shot black and white in a decade. Today I'm breaking the long streak of only shooting color photography. I was expecting some really nice golden hour, but the day was a little bit cloudy and completely gloomy at times. Shooting an overcast is actually okay, a little bit flat, but that's expected. I played with the light and dark features on the camera, but for this type of lighting that keeps changing all the time, I think it's better just to keep it as it is and don't use the light and dark features on the camera. I have to admit that I'm not super happy with any of these shots in terms of composition, but I'm glad I tried this Instax wide black and white film. The film is great and I highly recommend to anyone that's into black and white film. Beautiful tonality, but I'm definitely not a black and white photographer anymore. I struggle to create images that are not based on color harmonies. Black and white is a different universe. Now, let's talk about the color images with black frames. I went to a different spot and I had better lighting conditions when I shot these ones. So the images came out really nice. Absolutely gorgeous colors and contrast as usual. I think the black frames win over the white frames, and I mean, it's a lot nicer. In my opinion, it's definitely the film I will be carrying around from now on. And as always, I really enjoy shooting with this camera. It has such a nice grip, it's light, it's really nice to carry all day long. The images are beautiful, I love the colors before. I really like the black and white, although I'm gonna be sticking with the color, with the black frames. And I really think this is the best instant camera in the market, and I'm not even sponsored by Fuji. And if you enjoy this kind of videos with instant cameras, please watch this video here, and I see you there.